It sounds more nerdy when I actually fully explain it that way. A lot of this stuff is kind of nerdy because it's all Marvel and Star Wars stuff based on Disney still. Oh, don't get me started. Okay, Wally here doesn't he doesn't hate them as much but when we first met and we were first starting to do this you had a disney hate boner going on i did i was like the big i still kind of do (laughs) just because like a lot everything they do now is just obnoxious to me but i I, I still kind of like owned in a few ways i've like I've marathoned all the fucking Marvel movies with like that was after, and that kind of eased which it a bit like, because of the stuff they did, which like was really fun, and I did like it. I really did like the marathon just because it was like something cool to do over a really long period of time while I was playing the Dark Souls games in the background as well. I play a lot of games in the background while we do things. Yeah. I'm not right now, but like, well, it's because you have two monitors. You're like, I can yeah. do both. <laughs> The luxury um, of two monitors. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, like now. Now it's like I know all the lore for like the MCU at least, but like even beyond that, there's still like a bunch. It's still riddled with uh, fan praise bullshit. I remember. Uh, and now you made a tier now list. Whenever, now whenever like oh yes, the tier list. I'm not sure if I could bring it up in the recording right now. OBS powers go. So. <laughs> I'll explain real quick. This guy, guess where he put the Incredible Hulk on the where? MCU tier list? Like, w- mm. where do you, where do you think it belongs at least? Like, are we talking like modern Hulk, or are we talking like original movie Hulk? The 2009 Incredible Hulk movie. Mm, low C, Heidi. Okay. Hold on. Wally, I have it. Brought are you up ready to? Are you ready to present what? <laughs> Even though we already discussed this with Puffer once, we'll go through it again in, like, another recording. (laughs) Alright. Here's my Marvel tier list for the MCU. (laughs) (laughs) Don't die now. This is serious. (laughs) I also want to preface this by saying, like, this is arranged in, like, a scale of, like movies compared to each other like did i like this movie over that movie and that's where they were placed because like where did you have black widow originally black why don't you tell them (laughs) uh black widow (laughs) i have a gif version of i have like a two frame gif version of this that doesn't loop where like black widow is an s for like the first frame and then the second frame puts it back in d Well, it's the <sighs> one movie out of all of them that we watched that we had to stop because it was so boring. <laughs> I, I think I watched so it like problems. three times. <laughs> I watched it like twice. I watched it with Puffer and then I watched it with you. And then <laughs> Really? I thought we watched it all together one time. No, I, I, think, it, I think... No. Because like, I showed it to you because for the marathon, whereas I watched oh, it with yeah. Puffer for, for, or by myself for the first time. I, didn't we I marathon it again like a third time where I was there and then I was and then you kept saying something like Fuck turn it, it off. Turn it off. <laughs> and I was like, like it. No, this is your punishment for trying to gaslight Puffer into thinking he said sus while like reading something off of a paper somewhere. <laughs> I swear to God he did. I'm still dying on that hill. <laughs> Gaslighting is not real. <laughs> that's a good interpretation <laughs> that's anyways. a good way to gaslight people too. So, yeah anyways it's like hypnosis it's only real if you believe in it this tier list should we start from bottom I'm, a, to I'm a firm I'm a firm believer in not gaslighting or I'm a firm believer in gaslighting is fake. Guys, if subliminal messages were real, then I'd be able to actually ace my fucking quizzes in class from, like, falling asleep, because I just absorbed the knowledge anyway through my dreams. And, like, what? fucking subliminal me- subliminal advertising is literally just, like, one frame of gaslighting in movies anyway. Bottom to top, or top to bottom. Should we, bottom uh, to top. Bottom to top. Yeah. All right. Cap- the Captain America series is down here. 
Uh, most of it. <laughs> most of it. <laughs> Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Army yeah. drama. I forget what happens in this movie. It's just one big blob of gray. Uh, he helps his friend who got turned into a cybernetics. Uh, I hate Captain America in the MCU. He's like the most <laughs> backwards ass fucking paradoxical nationalist dickhead. I hate him. He's a horrible person. And his only superpower is the plot armor he gets from the super steroids he uses. And then for the sake of nationalism, <laughs> Captain America Civil War. I have no idea what happens in this one other than like the Avengers are here now instead of Cap is back in his own affairs. Uh, Black Widow. I. It. It didn't hurt me as much as the other ones. It, it hurt was, me more. It, it, <laughs> it was like the reason it's so low down here is because it's it real. There's nothing differentiating it from like a really shitty action film, even with like the few unique ideas it tried to do. Like. It did, it did that thing that, like, a lot of D Disney movies try to do, I think, where it's, like, they have something in the movie that's called the property of, like, some other infamous thing on the internet, like, Red Rooms. It's, like, the Red Room was this place where they trained the combat assassin girls in the movie. But, like, as you also know, Red Rooms are those things that may or may not exist on the dark web. Where, uh, where, you, get to, where you get to interact with people getting tortured. Through a live stream, exactly. yes. We've all seen deep web browsing. I'm glad we all know. What I, we I, are. I just, there's I just played Welcome to the Game. There's yeah, that too. There's also, uh, there's also rumors, you know, that like Walt Disney was frozen, his body was frozen to be dug up later, in the future, and his body is buried. His frozen body is buried somewhere under Pirates of the Caribbean, I guess. And they, I'm get. I heard another theory somewhere that they made the movie Frozen just so that they could flood the fucking Google searches with more Disney princesses rather than the truth. <laughs> I, I never heard that. What the fuck? You've never heard that theory? That no. Disney froze never, himself. I know about him freezing himself, but I didn't know about like that's why they made the, the movie Frozen. Anyway, Thor The Dark World, uh, the, the one saving grace of this movie is that they were, e they were able to hide the evil MacGuffin dark energy stuff in the title of the movie. Like, nobody would have thought, thought to find it there. Uh, up a tier. Wait, wait, real quick. Yeah. Real quick, if you watch Thor The Dark World and pretend that it's Star Wars before any of the actual events happen, it's actually a more enjoyable movie. Because they do have like a bunch of weird Star Wars stuff. It's like yeah, we were watching the movie and like, oh look, there's like a bunch of wouldn't it be fucking funky yeah. if like the sci-fi bullshit they started flying and then they started flying. Yeah, we were like, what if like <laughs> what it'd be really funny if the boats the boats that could fly would fly really fast like Tie Fighter and you just see it happen in front of us and we're like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They're like fucking crashing into the buildings 9-11 kamikaze style. It was amazing. Anyways. Alright, number one, like it, you shouldn't even laugh at that because you're not American. <laughs> I'm Canadian. I saw it on the news. Uh, actually, you know what? It might have been closer to you than me anyways, but whatever. Uh, it, yeah. Thor gets a tear up because like it's a fish out of water story, and most of the gags and fish out of water stories are like, person enters a uh, environment they aren't familiar with, and instead of like absolute fucking culture shock, they just act like a complete dumbass, like their own self, like all irration, all rationality's gone, like nothing's happening. This one, it wasn't completely terrible because they had one scene where like he was smashing mugs, and he actually apologizes, like, "Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't, I didn't mean to be offensive." Smashing mugs. Yeah. So at least there was like some stuff he did it wrong. But but it's still a dumb fucking fish out of water story where he, like Loki has to t turn up and tell him like your mom's dead, and then suddenly he's like I care about going back to homeworld now. 
Captain America, the first Avenger. This movie commits seppuku halfway through. Because, <laughs> like, the first half is, like, actual movie. Then the second half is, like, weird trailer shot montage. Uh, the Avengers, the first Avengers movie. Not Captain no, America. Fell Brenda, I'm gonna lie. <laughs> Anyways. He fell asleep. Fucking Avengers. Uh, it looks like the Seven Hour War in Marvel. <laughs> oh, didn't like I didn't I say like oh like try to make that a meme movie too? Yeah, that was like one of your ideas you told me during the marathon, like for the meme movie. Yeah, like I would do an Avengers, like the Avengers parody was going to be like Avengers, but if it happened at the same time as Half Life One. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, I already knew that Peter Parker was Spider-Man. It wasn't that impressive of a twist. After the credits scene. I don't know why half the fuck, everyone in the fucking theaters had to cream their pants and scream like fat fucking words over that fact. Uh, listen, listen, Spider-Man in this movie second. is the biggest fucking dweeb. He gives every teenager in existence a bad name. Same thing for the next movie up, which is only that. But the only reason it's more tolerable is because that's only what it is, and it's not the fucking bullshit twist they tried to pull in the second one. Uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. This movie is okay, but it was like the... The the only reason it's this low is because it's cursed, and that... uh, by the end of Age of Ultron, you end up transitioning into, like, the the mainstream hype train theory sh- bullshit of, like, Thanos is going to come and Ant-Man's going to And it hits, it hits you like a truck. Like, you don't even realize when it happened when you started thinking it. And, like, sometimes, like, I, I don't even know, like, when it hits when I rewatch the movie. Uh I'd say this movie is also this low because this is when uh, fucking Scarlet Witch gets introduced, which uh, is the worst <laughs> villain in the MCU without being an outright villain yet. Uh, biggest mistake. She, she literally ends up. She literally ends up causing the creation of Ultron, which like leads to this whole fucking domino cascade bullshit of the MCU. Then she's like the yeah, worst fucking inhumane the, villain ever in WandaVision. I think. I think that's actually the point of intrigue for where the MCU turns into like from standard grounded hero stories that are believable to comic book level bullshit. That's, and it's that's when what Wanda first appears on scene. Yeah, you're right. Iron Man three again, another like sort of uh, Metal Gear Solid story. And this more one so like is more terrorism. More like anti-terrorism. You got the cool orange glowy people. Virus. Candles. Uh, Ant-Man. This one is low down because initially I saw the premise and I'm like, that is motherfucking bullshit through and through. And then I watched (laughs) it and I was like, oh, I actually had a lot of fun with this movie even though like the the acting was terrible like the actual events that transpired weren't whereas like yeah. usually it's the other way around where it's like the acting's okay but like the fuck the 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 movie and the plot is complete bullshit Black Panther I I like the sort of halo aesthetics this has where it's like it, it's also one of the few Marvel properties where they tried mixing up the mu- music a bit and also that it does like more world building as opposed to middle-aged people trying to get over their problems using high tech. <laughs> but even yeah. though that's still half the movie. Anyways, original <laughs> Iron Man. Uh Robert Downey Jr. is a savant. <laughs> movie. You, you really get to see him go from like douchebag to soft hearted douchebag <laughs> it's, like, like, it's, be- it's almost believable it's almost also. believable it's, it's also cool because like you get to see him actually build it and like relate to the scientist guy Captain Marvel uh, I, that, was not I, I as, still don't know why. Was not as bad as everyone said, 
But, like, it did the one cool thing that, like, all the other fucking Marvel movies wouldn't give us was just, like, a fucking scene where, like, a person with superpowers flies around through space destroying the shit out of, like, alien spaceships, which, like, any other standard, like, superhero comic would do that shit and it would be cool. Whereas, like, none of the fucking MCU up to this point had ever done anything like that it was always like ground level type threats almost mm-hmm. yeah that's true whereas like here they saved it for like this this random chick as much as like i say like yeah this movie is just shit on it. it's kind of like underrated for what it was it does have definitely have some fucking ham-fisted forced feminist messages like somewhere in there because there's, like, the one fucking scene where she's like, I don't owe you anything to the one guy. who's like, we gave you your power. And it's super over. Uh, Iron Man 2. Cool lightning whip guy. And the Russian guy. Who is the son of... Uh, who is the son of uh, Clark Starks. I... That's not his name. No, that is it's nowhere close to his name. Uh, Daddy Stark. I... His uh, secret lover and boyfriend during the Cold War when they were creating the uh, the Tesseract without even knowing it. One guy had like the actual element figured out while the other guy made the fucking box to put it in, I guess. Ant-Man yeah. and the Wasp. Venom, let there be carnage. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Venom, let there be carnage. Like, it would have been higher, but, like, the the acting of the guy who played the lunatic was almost, like, too accurate. And I... <laughs> I, I don't think that's, like, a compliment, though, because, like, it just kept making you uncomfortable. It kept feeling like it was trying to be a Joker ripoff, except, like, again, it was just uncomfortable because he was, like, actually unhinged. So it wasn't even that cool. You just kind of feel, like, really sad whenever he tries doing something. The fir- And also, it's lower because they tried pulling, like, a bunch of shit, like... Venom and Eddie fight way too fucking much with each other. Uh, Venom. Uh, Elon Musk. Finds what? space... Valid. <laughs> See? Fucking... He gets it. Dominic gets it. Thor Ragnarok. This one's cool because they add, like, a bunch of, like, cool neon Call of Duty skin cosmetics to characters. Also, like, Hulk and (laughs) Thor gain an actual bro ship. And there's, like, cute little dialogue between them. That's one of my favorite There was, like, a huge potential for Thor Dick we could have gotten to see in this movie, but we didn't get it. Not Thor Dick, but Hulk Dick. With that one lady. Who I'm sure he was definitely fucking. What the doubt? Spider Man. I I probably gotta lower this one on the tier list actually. But Spider Man. Uh, no, no way, way home. home. It was cool, like how at the end everything came together. But uh, again, I just couldn't fucking get over like half the scenes in this movie felt like dumb people being dumb for the sake of comedy, and then, like, the audience was supposed to, like, laugh and cream themselves at it. (laughs) Avengers Infinity War. This movie is literally just, like, a prequel movie, and every time you talk about it, it's hard to think of, like, what happened, remember what happens in it, other than, like, (laughs) Squidward and Thor show up. (laughs) And then they do the snap, and they fight in Wakanda. A bomb Shang Chi. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, I might need a lower Shang Chi. <laughs> but like, it was cool how they tried deviating away from the typical style of Marvel superheroes. But like, it it was kind of the same problem almost as Black Widow, where it felt like just martial arts movie as opposed to like yeah. secret agent spy movie ripping off James Bond it felt more like it was ripping off Kung Fu Hustle 
Which it totally was, and it, you know why it was, because they had the same rings gimmick on their arms. Uh, Avengers Endgame. This one, again, it should probably be lower, and like the only reason it is up here is, like I said, these are all movies compared to each other, and you kind of need the context of the entire MCU in order to appreciate Endgame. Otherwise, Endgame is just... What the hell is going on? It's just pretty much Infinity War 2. The Incredible Hulk. <laughs> you laugh. But I, this is another hill I'm going to die on. The Incredible Hulk is different from, like, every other MCU film. In that, like, it's not trying to be some bullshit about, uh... Like, middle-aged man solving his own emotional problems. It's more of... If the, the situation feels more grounded to, like, an actual event you have to go through rather than, like, ha the poetic overtones of that being more important somehow. Or, they, like, he's going to save the world by the time he gets over those uh, personal overtones. Because, like, the movie about the Incredible... the The plot of Incredible Hulk is, like... Hulk, this person and Hulk are trying to run away from the military and the military are like running after them and so like it becomes this like slow burn uh, realization that like after a while they kind of have to just coexist so they kind of like recognize their differences mm -hmm. and instead of being like oh I saved the world it's more of like oh between two uh, between two houses of manhood I guess or whatever people figured out their own differences which is better than fucking Iron Man having to be like man I wish I could put a suit of armor around the world due to my own insecurities <laughs> and then doing that by the end of the movie it, it, it doesn't feel like an overtone it feels like that's just the actual event that transpired Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 I hear everybody say this is better than Guardians 1, even though, like, I think my main criticism at this point is, like, it's just it's just a character dump movie, and, like, the plot kind of doesn't work. It's not that it doesn't work, it just feels rushed. Like, if, if mm. the events of Guardians of the Galaxy 2, like, the beginning half and the ending half of the movie were, like, split up into, like, the beginning and, like, ending episodes of a TV show... They, you could find the Guardians using uh, Ego's planet as like a home base while staying one step ahead of like the Sovereign the whole time. And you could have them continue to go on adventures. Everything's like super fucking condensed into micro-machines of this one story. Guardians end up on this planet, uh, go through phases of like characterization. And not, like I literally say there's like one too many scenes where there's a slow zoom on characters as they give their sad backstory. And then after that happens, they run from Planet Ego, from, like, the twist villain bad guy who is kind of shady and sketchy and obvious from the beginning. Guardians of the Galaxy. I would not say, like, the story is as solid as The Incredible Hulk. At least I feel. It, it, it definitely feels more like the background sci-fi details are there, where it's, like, a good enough adventure... Where it's like, you can't have cool stuff happen. That's it. That's a, <clears throat> that's a pretty solid tier list, except that move probably hulked down to, you clearly don't own an air fryer. <laughs> I like your opinion. I like your reasoning. But I'm gonna have to dis disagree. I, I will admit, like, you know, like, if the quality of the movie, even even that, I'd probably say, like, I like the, I like, I like how it, like, feels nostalgic for 2009, but, yeah, the quality of, like, Iron Man 1 and Hulk... Uh, didn't really hit most of the time. And I think this is where, like, most of the feelings stemmed from anyways, of, like, he superheroes are overrated for most people, which is why they tried hooking them in with Thanos bullshit, not realizing that, like, I don't think it would have rope them in, it would just be more bombastic and obnoxious to some people. 